What's up, y'all? It's me, Kels. I'm sorry today, y'all. I got laryngitis, but I am making a video just for y'all. I made some cabbage rolls last week, and I want to show you guys how I did it. So, y'all, check it out. Okay, y'all, I'm going to start off with a pot of water. I've cranked it up to about medium heat. I'm adding in some salt, adding in my cabbage. I'm going to place the lid on, and I'm just going to let it cook. Now, I'm just going to grab another pan, add some olive oil to it, and add in my purple onions. I'm going to let that saute for a few minutes and then add in some mushrooms. Again, I'm going to let that saute for a few minutes and then add in my garlic. I'm going to let this cook for about one minute, and then I'm going to pull it off of the stove and place it into a bowl. Now, I'm going to take that same pan and throw in my ground beef. Now I'm going to break this beef down a little bit and let it start to cook. And then I'm going to add in some salt. And then I'm going to add in some pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and then some Creole seasoning. Now I'm going to give this a quick mix. Okay, that's my mushroom and onion mixture. I'm just going to add that right back in and then add in some crushed tomatoes. So let it cook down a little bit and then add in some uncooked rice. Now, I'm going to mix that all in, and then I'm going to set it aside because it's ready. Now, it's time to pull that cabbage out, so I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to be very careful because it's hot. It is hot, hot, hot. So, I'm just going to start pulling those leaves off one at a time, and the leaves should look just about like this, guys. So, I'm just going to pull it off, being very careful, and placing it to the side. Now, when I get all the cabbage leaves I want off of this cabbage, I'm going to start stuffing them. So now I'm just taking one cabbage leaf. I'm taking my meat mixture. I'm putting it in the middle. And then I'm going to roll it up just the same as I would a burrito. Just roll it up all the way to the end and place it into my baking dish. So I'm going to do the rest of my cabbage just like this. And when I'm done, it's time to add a little bit of chicken broth. So about a third cup of chicken broth is going in. I'm just going to pour it right over the top of those cabbage leaves and then I'm going to go on top with the remainder of my crushed tomatoes. Now I got to add some seasoning to this guys so I'm going to add in some salt and some pepper on the very top and when I'm done with that I'm just going to take the remainder of my cabbage leaves and place them on the top. So I'm just going to fill the whole top of this um, baking dish with the cabbage leaves. Okay, then when I'm done with that, guys, I'm going to place it into an oven at 350 degrees for about an hour. And when it's done, it's going to look just like this. Now, I know it looks kind of funky, guys, but that's all good. You're not going to eat the top of the cabbage leaves. You're only going to eat the ones that the beef is wrapped in. So, guys, just remove those cabbage leaves from the top. Now, this is important guys you can eat this now it's all good if you eat it now but if you wait until the next day they are fabulous guys place you some picante sauce or some pico de gallo on the top and some sour cream and you will eat yourself to death okay y'all that is it if y'all like this video and y'all would like to see more please head on over to my youtube channel there you will find each and every video that i have ever done Y'all check me out. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye now.